I think we're gonna do it today. Hey, sweetie, just dozed off there for a second. What's going on? Well, I put up all decorations. Oh my gosh, they look great. And I bought a car. What? Hello and good morning, everyone. Hi. It's Thursday, which is dance day, which we are missing because Hazel's arm is broken and she cannot use it. And they said she can't fall or else we chance breaking the bone right here in her shoulder. So she is out of dance. Something to look forward to. Next Thursday, a week from today, she'll be getting her cast off and we will find out if she gets a smaller cast, which is kind of what they had prepped us for. They're like, she'll get a second cast. Look forward to that. She's missing dance today, but Thursdays will now consist of dance coming soon. I'm a little underwhelmed by my fall decorations. You guys know I kind of was a little frustrated yesterday at some of the stuff I had. I love this area. And this is like, okay. It's just like nothing like super, it's kind of not what I was wanting. I thought I had more great, awesome things than I really do. So I'm going to head to Hobby Lobby really quick. Go get some other decorations. You guys, it's so awesome because right now everything is 40% off. So look at these cute things. I kind of want this for the middle of my table. Look how cute this is. I found some little glass pumpkins as well. And I found more potpourri. The cute little pumpkins in it. Found this darling little pumpkin. This little pumpkin, this is grateful. Look how stinking cute these are. I have to get these. These are darling. Also, I just found this cute little vase. Threw in some pics and look how cute it looks. I don't think I had a hard time finding a few things. I'm excited to go home and be able to put this up. Kind of love this guy. $13.99 with 40% off, that's not bad. Wow, guys. Just getting home. I've got, I've got all my stuff. Hi, guys. Got all my stuff. Hi, baby. Let's. Oh, I think I've got one more bag in the car. Here's my last bag. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out and we can see what I've bought and see how cute it is. Lassie, what do you think? Do you like our fall decorations? Don't eat them, okay? All right, you guys, this is everything I got. I bought this jar and I wanted to throw in some of the picks. Excuse me, kitty, I don't want you eating them. No, don't eat them, please. Don't eat them, Kay. I was thinking doing like a couple of these and then I had thought about this because I love this red color. Maybe even some of these, just something simple, just to give it a little bit of color. So I think that's what I put in the middle of the kitchen table with maybe some of these pumpkins sitting around. Okay, I just went and changed my clothes because <laughs> I was just really uncomfortable bending down in that whole outfit. Anyway, I'm back at it. I'm gonna set up some stuff and then I'm gonna show you guys what I've done. Apparently while I was upstairs changing, the kitty just came through and ate it. So we're gonna have to watch that. Why the kids have been watching TV and eating lunch, I've made just a few adjustments to my fall stuff and then I will be done with fall stuff. My centerpiece here on the table, I did buy this a couple weeks ago at Hobby Lobby and I really loved it. So I kept my enjoy today. This is actually what Stephanie gave Brandon for his birthday. But this was part of a three pack set. So I put this and this and then they made that little arrangement. I have a feeling Laz is gonna keep trying to eat it. So I've gotta figure something out for that. And this, I had this tray already, but these three pumpkins I got at Hobby Lobby and then I just threw a bunch of those picks in. So these are all just picks. They're all like this length. They're really small, kind of these length. They're just short because this is so deep. I put some tissue paper under there. That way it didn't fall all the way through. Might add my potpourri around here. That could look darling. And then I spiced up this. I added this pumpkin. That was another, these two pumpkins were that three set of pumpkins. This was a pick also. I just took the pick out of the bottom. And then all of these little guys were one of these. What I like to do with these when they have such fun things in them, I just rip it apart. So I literally pull all the pieces out of this bottom. Them. I just stuck them in wherever and I kind of love it. That will conclude my fall decorations in the house. Oh, I forgot actually, one second. I bought those things for up there just to give it a little, little pumpkin nest up there. And then in the bathroom, I added a few pumpkins there. So just, I just needed pumpkins to sit around. Now that we're done with that, it's about nap time. So I'm gonna do that. Also, I don't know if you guys know, we love our van. We're crazy about our van, but we might have an opportunity to get a new one for less money. So we are looking into that, but might, we might be getting a new car today. As soon as I know more details, I'll let you guys know. 
know. All right, guys. So I kind of briefly told you a little bit ago that we might get a new car today. It happened kind of fast. Did you guys even know that that was on our radar? No. This may seem impulsive, but it has been it's on our radar impulsive. for like months. So my dad works at a car dealership. I just, dad, just, just keep an eye out. You know, like if something better comes up, our car's kind of getting a lot of miles. Then eh, just tell me if something cool comes up. He called me about a month ago and he said, there's a car that we use at our body shop. If someone's car is getting fixed or repaired, they rent this shuttle car. It's a Sienna. They only keep those for so many miles and then they sell them. They're in great condition. They've been kept up by Toyota. It's a certified Toyota vehicle. So it's going to be coming out in about a month and a half. And I was like, Oh, yesterday was my dad's birthday. Oh, it was my dad's birthday, you guys. I wish him happy birthday, but you should wish him happy birthday below. He says, hey, I've got great news. Your car's ready. But we're not ready. Uh, yeah, I'm not ready. <laughs> we don't. Because the kids had ripped a hole in this seat, so I had to go get that repaired. So literally, there was a I hole in the seat. I need to sell my car. We gotta sell the car. There's a cracked windshield. It needs to be detailed. All these things gotta be taken care of. So this morning, mom went and got the, I just hit my head on the thing here. I'm tall, okay, people? I'm problems. very, very tall. Mom went and got the seat repaired. While she was there, the car was in. She looked at it, called me and she said I think we're gonna get this today so well, and here's the funny thing you guys won't even notice that it's new it's the exact same color same color the only thing that's different is this color of carpet is a little bit darker it has leather seats all the upgraded features that we wanted in this one but we, we held back on so but before we can do that guys we got to get this one cleaned out get all of our personal belongings out of it and make the official swagger wagon Bingham family switch well now that's a mouthful <laughs> Probably don't want to leave these in here. Those have been in there? Could have been snacking on these this whole time. Could have been snacking. <laughs> Rexy. Hi guys. <laughs> Kids are squared away, doing homework, finishing up their chores. They've actually probably had one of their best come homes since the school year started. Jumping right into chores, right into homework. Everybody pitching in and helping out. So that is fantastic to see. We are gonna get a babysitter for them so that we can go get this car. We're gonna go pick up the new minivan, but there's a lot of paperwork and you're sitting there filling out documents and it can take a while. And that is a little bit much to ask kids to sit there and maintain themselves while you're doing that kind of stuff. So we've got a neighbor coming over to sit with the kids while we go pick up the van. We will bring you with us and then we're gonna bring the van back home and show it to them. Swagger wagon number two. Back out of the garage for the last time. Minnie said she wanted to drive because it's her farewell swan song to the hey swagger wagon. I remember when we bought this car. We like had some pretty not as awesome cars before this one. I loved this van. I felt like a real mom. This was our first step into, you know, real adulting here with so many kids that you require a bus to transport them around. We have loved this and that's why really Mindy said it's gonna be a little underwhelming when we get the new one because we're just getting the same thing again. We're just getting a newer but one. But that's also <laughs> how much we have loved our Sienna. Yeah, we do. We absolutely love it. Ready to do this. This is why you're wagon 2.0. This is this part of the clearance event? <laughs> I told you only shot the clearance rack. <laughs> It's so shiny. Okay, you guys, so we've. I was expecting to have it look a little different. It doesn't look. Okay. No. The only thing that's different is this is chrome. It looks way different because it actually is shiny without as many scratches. So you just wave your hands over this well, and it yeah, unlocks it. Have the... oh, oh my gosh. Format. Here it is. Check it out. We're seeing this for the first time. I am. Mindy's seen it already, but we actually just bought it and I hadn't even seen it yet. So now we're coming out to look at it for me. Here it is well, I mean, the I new Bingham Family it. Swagger Wagon. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. So, you guys, as you can tell, very similar to what we just walked out of, but, but you've got the leather, leather seats now. So that's going to be a little bit nicer. Oh, but guys, Check this out. Sunroof now, a little moonroof. Does that actually open up, sweetie? I think it slides, yeah. They don't even have an actual key anymore. You just have this in your hand. Just throw that in your purse. And then as you get close to it, you can wave your hand over the handle, open it up, come in here with the push start. You've got your little digital display. Guys, the big thing that Mindy's been missing in the new technology of cars is a lot of the features that come with the bigger touch screen, the reverse camera. She had a little teeny one up here, but you couldn't even see in it, so it wasn't even worth using. So you've got the upgraded tech, just some additional power features like on the back trunk door and things like that that we didn't have before. So guys, it's, it's fun, you know, because we had that one for five years. It was phenomenal. We obviously it loved great. our experience with the Sienna. Car. That's why I was like, I'll get a car, but I want the exact same thing that get I Get the just same had. thing and then just add, well, you know, go up a trim level. All right, the same spot. What are these? I'm seeing it now for the first time. You guys are seeing it with me. Very first time here. I'm loving it though. This middle part's the exact same. Sure. Seat heaters. Wow, guys, this is what this looks like clean, huh? Yeah, this is kind of funny. Like, that's filled with gunk and it will have. Oh, so we'd get that middle seat again too. Hey! Okay, hold on. Let's see you do your thing. Did, did you just unlock that with your. Hold on. How'd you do that? Locked it. With so your hand waving over it? Okay, hang on. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! 
Guys, be honest. Does it just look like we're driving the exact same car? It doesn't matter because it's newer. We like it and it's going to be fun. It does have some other things too, like the blind spot recognition. So like if someone's in your blind spot, this little thing will light up and let you know they're there. So there are some additional features that are beyond what we had before. It looks like they've already got this guarded right there. So that's good. So there are some new features. Like I said, the power back thing we always wish we had and we didn't. The body itself looks pretty much the same. The color is the exact same. I mean, nobody will really even notice that we have a new car. But the other one had over 100 and I want to say 120,000 miles. So it was just time, just time to upgrade and get something a little bit newer for Mindy because she's in it all the time, shuttling kids back and forth, constantly running people from school to practices to everything. So I want her to feel like she's in something comfortable that she enjoys. Love it, you guys. Freaking love it. So we still get this extra seat, which is great. We put all the seats in and we can hold eight people in this bad boy. And that's actually coming in handy a number of times. I'm gonna love the leather and how easy that cleans. That's gonna be fantastic. I think the back is the exact same, like the trunk space. So we have some pre-cut weather matting that I think will fit right in there. So that's gonna be awesome. We held on to that. Oh my. That is the one thing that you always wish we had on the previous van. <laughs> well, now they've got the ones where you just wave your foot underneath it. Lazy's gotten to a whole new level. <laughs> to lock it, you put your hand there, okay? Oh, he just locked it, yeah. To unlock it, you just put your hand in there. That's all. Oh, that just got next level on you. <laughs> Yeah, put Toyota in the middle. I don't crash this, but your very first time driving it out here. What do you think? Hot dog, I love it. We're gonna get a before and after or out with the old, in with the new boomerang right now. So we're setting up the minivans. Go check it out on our Instagram, at this is how we bang them. Guys, this is fun. This is fun. All right, you guys, we are sitting out here getting the final pictures done of the cars. Uh, can you tell? You guys, can you tell which one's new? Which one's old? Which one's new and which one's old? Cash your votes if you guys can tell. Almost the exact same car, both amazing. I love the Toyota Santa so much that I had to buy a second one just five years later. Five years newer. Do you want to be in the middle of them? Yeah. This is the official handoff right here. Out with the old, in with the new. It does not look any different from the outside, you guys, but we are super stoked to get the new Sienna. Some of the upgraded features that we've shown you. We've just loved our experience here at Carmel and Toyota. They've been amazing. Scott has been our guy. He's been the one helping us. And this is actually the second Sienna he sold us five years ago, also sold us this one you guys should go back and check out that video but we've actually loved it we always feel very well taken care of here and so that's why we come back time after time It was nice that they parked the dented side facing out for the picture so you could at least tell that this one has been binghamed up a little bit or dinged up, however you want to call that. This one has yet to be put in our garage and dinged up by the boys. We're going to go home right now, show the kids their new swagger wagon. We just got home. We really have a lot of variety in our cars, don't we? Silver, silver. We're going to show the kids for the first time. They're just inside here trying to keep them at bay. I wonder if they're even going to notice the difference. Ready? <laughs> so be honest, can you guys even tell the difference yet besides the sunroof? <laughs> hey, let's open it up. Come here, right guy. You guys want to get inside? Here you go, here you go. Let's check it out, see what you like. <laughs> Whoa, I like that the handles are like chrome. They're kind of chrome, huh? That's a little bit different, right? <laughs> Whoa. You guys like it? Look at the look at the Whoa. console in the front. You guys like that? This is so cool. I don't have a key on me right now, but I'll just come in here, hit the push start, wherever that is. You don't even have to have a key. It's in mom's purse. What do you guys think? It's the one day I'll stay here to go to school. <laughs> I've never <laughs> been in here. here. Guys, what is it like in the back? Pretty cool? Yeah. Do you guys like the leather? Does it feel nice? Yeah. No ripping it apart, okay? Yeah, oh, no tearing this one apart. So this is, way yeah, this is the rear control air, all digital. Are you ready to go? Hey, Z girl, that is oh, not how you're gonna sit in this car. But I like that you got your seatbelt on. Those are kind of cool, right? And it's just that. 
So really for the most part, it's very much the same as the old one, just a couple new things. This Let me. Is one. Hey, <laughs> that is one. Hi, Rag Guy. Let me show you another one, guys. Watch this, ready? Oh! <laughs> Do you like that, dude? Yes. <laughs> I've seen this on many other cars and I- I know, like, now, now we just finally have it. I even press even the button. Like Close it with your brain power. Yeah, Carmelon on there. Is that kind of cool? Carmelon Toyota. So we got a new license plate coming. New, new. You get no new. <laughs> oh, hey, see ya. Where is he? Hi. Yeah, do you like how it says Sienna on the floorboards? That's kind of cool, huh? So it shows you the actual car and what doors open on it. Yep. There's a lot of cool digital stuff in there that it'll tell you like fuel economy and distance to empty. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hazy, you're loving it. All that's fully digital too. The air now. Want me to take you guys on a drive? Should we go for a ride? Yeah, I'm driving. <laughs> Welcome home, everybody. Oh wait, we're gonna close the vlog in the car. So what does everybody think of the new van? Love it! <laughs> Mom, your new Swagger Wagon? I love it. Swagger Wagon! <laughs> <laughs> Swagger Wagon 2.0, that's right, babies. We hope you had fun joining us on our new car buying journey today. That was kind of fun, somewhat that unexpected. Was... Now it just got dark, how do you do that? That was random and sporadic, seems like, but this is actually something we've been talking a lot We've been waiting about. for this one to come up available. It just came up sooner than we thought, but we knew once it came available, we were gonna get it. Not quite as impulsive as it might have seemed, yes. uh, because we had thought about it, thought it through, planned it out, and it worked out perfectly to pick it up today. Little bit newer car, same amount of money. This is what the kids are gonna be going to school in tomorrow, and yes. speaking of school, School, we need to get into bed because we have a full weekend of motocross coming up you guys We've got school in the morning. We got motocross on the afternoon into the night on Friday another day on Saturday We've got a busy couple days. It's gonna be up. a long weekend. Let's get into bed. Stay tuned you guys. We love you. See you later Bye everybody. Say goodbye from the band Bye. Bye. Swagger wagon point two point oh. Swagger wagon point two oh. Two point oh. Two point oh. You want to try it again or not? Two. Oh, see. Wait, what is oh. it? Swagger Wagon 2.0. Okay, go. I got it. Swagger Wagon. Oh my gosh. Swagger Wagon 2.0. Oh! oh!